okay everybody welcome to today's uh, daily edge and uh, uh, well if uh, in the if uh, we get more people joining in the in the meantime that we are live well we are going to welcome them again so welcome to today's daily edge and uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the important news that has that has popped uh, on the radar today so I'm going to go to my news terminal and uh, I'm going to see what's going on um, on fixed income, right? Fixed income is uh, the uh, news that's important to uh, uh, to us because the is news about uh, um, uh, the global markets and uh, uh, of course about central banks and monetary policy. Um, if you look here at, uh, at what happened uh, um, yesterday with the Bank of Japan, um, uh, Governor Kuroda said the market believe extended period was shorter. Then uh, here uh, we we had some important news coming out of Denmark. Uh, this is from uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but Ingves. <laughs> We have to live. Uh, we have to live with fluctuation in the Danish krona, entering a calmer phase in the Swedish krona. Um, then uh, here, here's it. Well, here's a an important one. ECB uh, global headwinds continue to wait on euro area growth. Now this is important uh, news coming out of the ECB because. Uh, um, um, can you see my screen now, Martin? Um, because uh, I am sharing my screen and uh, I am I do have uh, no you can't see it well because uh, I, I, I well I am sharing my screen and uh, I am also looking at uh, the um, at the uh, yes you because I'm looking, I'm also looking at what I'm sharing, and uh, it's supposed to. I mean, you have to look at it. Try reloading your 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 uh, your your um, uh, window. So, uh, South Korea moon hopes for third North Korea U.S. summit soon. Well, I was talking about the ECB uh, the ECB news because uh, it, well, it's important to us because we are going to be looking at the euro today, and uh, the global headwinds continues to wait on euro area growth. And as you can, as you remember, yesterday we w we were looking at uh, the um, the euro that was um, well, it was. Um, um breaking with the 112 area that we were going to look at it and because of and uh, not only not only this uh, news on the ECB ways on a bearish side on on the euro but um the dollar breaking with the 9770 level also weights on the on the bearish side of the euro now this is important uh, let's have a look at uh, more news that are coming out uh, of the wires. Now, um, uh, yesterday's uh, Bank of Japan's news. Um, but for the time being, I think that uh, the the more the more important news uh, for us is this ECB headline right now yesterday uh i don't know if you follow the um uh the the us dollar japanese yen or, or the pound yen or the euro yen for that matter but the us dollar japanese yen had a had a very volatile start of the uh a asian uh asian session it jumped up about 50 pips and then it uh, breaking the flag that we were talking about yesterday and then back down uh, and here are some headlines from the Bank of Japan um, Bank of Japan aims aim, aim is to boost trust in the Bank of Japan by clarifying guidance um, the board member Kataota opposed assessment of prices in economic outlook report uh, risks are tilted to downside for economic pr for economy and prices the expected CPI to pick up toward two percent gradually. That's good. 
and uh, wanted to make stance clear on persisting easing. So, uh, as, as you can see, mixed news coming out or mixed headlines coming out of the Bank of Japan with uh, unexpected CPI to pick up towards 2% gradually, and then uh, they're talking about a persisting easing. A persisting, e uh, well, if you don't know what uh, quantitative easing is, well, uh, quantitative easing is just. Um, uh, well, the uh, purchase, uh, the asset purchase prox program on the central banks to uh, to uh, uh, put liquidity into the economy. And uh, well, if you want, let's start with the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen. All right. Now, uh, if you remember from yesterday's um, uh, from yesterday's daily edge, we were talking about this flag and the very important one twelfth area on the US dollar Japanese yen right and uh, we were waiting for that pop to the upside and th that pop to the upside happened yesterday and as you can see well we, when we broke when we broke with the with the flag we popped up for about 51 pips guys and then uh, well and then we came back right down okay this is the four hour chart uh, and as you can see here, well, uh, we basically broke to the upside and we traded all the way up to the um, 112.40 uh, level, around the 112.40 level, and then we came back down, all right? We came back down, breaking below the 112 again and uh, trading as low as the one. Uh, 11170 level now this is very volatile and uh, people uh, and a lot of people might have got caught on these on these uh, what it looks like a bull trap but it was uh, it was clearly just uh, uh, mixed headlines coming out of the Bank of Japan that affected the US dollar versus the Japanese yen in this matter and the thing is that if you go to the um, if we go to the um, uh, to the US dollar, I'm sorry, to the uh, GBP Japanese yen, you're going to see that, um, well, the GBP Japanese yen right here uh, didn't have this, um, um, this volatile start of the um, yeah, Asian session and just um, and just broke with that area that we were waiting. Now, uh, if you uh, if you weren't with us yesterday, uh, we were talking about the GBP yen and how um, we are up on uh, on our trade about um, right now about 210 pips, right? And uh, this trade keeps uh, getting better and better. Now, uh, f f if you are not a premium member of uh, of my team. Well, I'm uh, I'm going to leave you in the chat an offer for a one month trial that you can take. And I'm sorry, <laughs> that is the wrong. Don't go there. I'm sorry. That is the wrong. Uh, um, that is the wrong um, um, URL. It's uh, tra go dot tradeemo dot com slash trial. Now, if you go there, you can. You're going to get a, a one-month trial, but um, and I urge you to take it because I, we we uh, we are making a lot of pips in our premium service. But I mean, uh, uh, let's talk about the GBP Japanese yen and the levels that we are watching right here. All right, because uh, uh, well, our trade, uh, yeah, it's getting better and better, and we're riding that wave down. But we have to look at some levels where we are going to be taking out um, some of this trade, all right? And uh, the reason that we are going, we have to look at these levels where we're going to be taking out some of this uh, position, or maybe levels that we are going to be adding to this short position, is um, well, is because uh, you can't. Well, or the way that I trade is that I always take. I always take um, uh, I always take um, 
um, profits at the next level of resistance when I'm in a short position or at the next level of support. Uh, well, at the, at the next level of support, support if, it, if it, I'm in a short position and at the next level of resistance if it, I'm in a uh, long position. Now, this is our premium channel and um, we're going to talk about that goal position um, in a while but as you can see here uh, we took half off of the 144.75 level and we were up already 133 pips and um, uh, we are all the way down to the 144 level now what levels am, am, am I looking at right now well uh, to be honest the next level of support that I see on this currency pair is right here at uh, around the 143 level and uh, um, uh, well around the 143 and the 142.73 level um, we already have broken with the 144.70 level which was the important level that we were looking at from yesterday uh, yesterday's daily edge and uh, of course if you look at what happened the day before this is the daily chart guys uh, I'm gonna go to a forward chart uh, so we can look at what uh, at what happened in price action because um, um, what happened here at the 144.75 level around the 144.80, 144.70 level is that we had a lot of uh, uh, profit taking from short positions. This is where we took some of our profit out. Um, I'm sorry, Martin. I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's on your end because. Uh, um, I'm looking at my other screens and uh, I can see my my I, I, I actually can see my screen so um, uh, try to reload it and um, let me know all right so what happened here is a lot of profit taken and a lot of buying also there were tons there were tons of volume traded at that layer at this level and people got caught in this bear in this bear in this bull uh, bull trap and uh, the reason that people got caught in this bull trap is because we were trading at the low of the range if you remember from yesterday's daily edge we were talking Uh, because we were talking about uh, the the range that we were at, all right. Now we we, we have broken with that uh, that range. People got got trapped in that bull trap, and uh, uh, well, right now we are trading down. And the next level that I'm looking at, it's not this immediate lows, which could lead to some kind of support but the real level of support that I'm looking at is around the 143 uh, and the 143.70 uh, level for the pound versus the yen and uh, we are going to be taking some uh, more of this trade out more of this trade out uh, at the 143 um, uh, around the 143 level and um, we are going to see what kind of rejection or reaction we have to this level. All right. Now uh, let's go back and let's look at uh, at uh, gold. Well, let's look at the at the uh, the U.S. dollar right now, right? Um, because um, because it's very interesting be uh, that uh, we broke with the 97.70 level, right? And we had some rejection at the at the at the 9770 level, and after having some rejection at the 9770 level, um, well, uh, people and I was one of them. I, we thought that we might get some uh, pullback to the 9740, 9750 level before continuing, but the dollar just keeps grinding higher, and um, as you remember yesterday. I was I was telling you guys that um, well the U.S. economy is looking better and better because the jobs numbers are coming in stronger every month and not only that but the uh, unemployment is at a, it's at a 47 year low uh, which means that uh, we uh, uh, the, which means that uh, the uh, the quantitative easing worked and um, uh, the uh, the Fed is 
even though the Fed stone was very dovish on the last um, on the last uh, FOMC meeting, th when they cut the uh, the the rate hike outlooks to zero this year, we are still in a very strong economy, and the dollar is going to keep grinding higher and higher. Now, the 97.70 level was an important level because we were we were capped by it, and we had been capped by it for months. But now we have we have uh, taken out that level, and as you can see, you and the, and as you can see, um, well, it held, and now we are grinding higher, uh, and this is going to have a ton of implications in a lot of um, in a lot of not only currency pairs not only gold but also the equities markets fixed income etc it's, it's going to have a lot a lot of implication because in my mind we have started the new uh, bullish uh, or the next bullish move in the US dollar now uh, now that we have seen uh, the US dollar, let's talk about what's going on in gold. Now, yesterday we were talking about, uh, let me thicken this chart out for you guys, because uh, very interesting levels in gold. And yesterday we were talking about, uh, on the daily edge, we were talking about how this uh, level, the 1269 level was capping gold to the downside, right? And we were looking at this rejection right here and of course we were looking at the high volume that was, that was traded at this level and uh, the thing is that our or the, what we were talking about yesterday is that this might be a good place to start buying gold for a short term for a short term rally okay now uh it was a risky move and yesterday we talked about how risky it was but um and we uh, not only not only we were talking about how uh, about how risky it was but we were also talking about uh, these uh past highs that we needed to be taken out around the 1274 level before we even considered uh looking at a, at a buy opportunity in gold now um uh yesterday we uh, or i sent a signal uh, here uh, on the premium forex channel uh, that we should be buying gold around the 1274 level uh, with uh, targets um, around the 1284 level for a hundred pips and if you look at this the 1274 level was uh, 1274.80 level was exactly above that uh, those highs that we were discussing yesterday and gold took out those highs and now we are moving higher all right this trade is up around well it is up around 27 28 pips right now which is which is great but we are going to keep on holding that trade right now uh, we are going to move stops to uh, to below the previous low uh, at around um, uh 1272.80 all right uh to minimize our risk to just 20 pips because uh because uh, like we said yesterday this is a very risky uh, sh uh long trade because we are basically just uh, trying to catch a falling knife right because of this very strong move to the downside and not only the past move to the down downside but also uh well the entire uh the entire move from the highs at around 13.43 all right now uh why are we looking at the 1284 uh, level for a possible taking profit well that's easy because it's the previous uh it's the previous base all right this is going to be a very strong area of uh, uh resistance Uh, because uh, this is uh, where price has been bouncing off uh, on and off from uh, 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 well it has been bouncing on and off from uh, for the past uh, couple of uh, weeks even months 
So basically, this is what we are looking at when we are looking at gold. And uh, uh, if you excuse me just a second, I'm going to be back in one minute.